Well, we are trying our luck at Frontier Airlines again. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. We just got off the shuttle, so wish us luck. If you hadn't seen our Frontier Airlines video, check that out and then this will all make sense why we were so hesitant to try to fly with them again. Also, look at the clear line, you guys. It was so many people versus our TSA pre-check line. So if you haven't seen our TSA pre-check video, make sure you check that out as well. So we made it to our gate, no delays so far. Everything's on time. We'll see if it stays that way. Stay tuned. When it came time for our boarding time, nobody was getting on the plane. We were just all standing around. So, of course, Richard and I were both like, okay, are we going to be able to even get on this plane? Is it going to be delayed again? What's up? Well, we figured it out. Everyone was doing zone two through five, which is where you have the free personal item. Zone one was the line that you had to pay for your luggage. So everyone that was smart <laughs> and cheap like us chose to do the free personal item. And that's what took so long. Finally, getting ready to get on. Hello. Once we got onto the plane, we were greeted by the airline staff. They were all very nice and friendly, and we got to our seats. Now, if you didn't know, your girl here, Ronia, is a budget extraordinaire. I'm super frugal, so when I saw that Frontier Airlines will make you pay just to choose your seats, I was like, uh uh, nope, not having it. So if you were wondering why Richard and I are not sitting next to each other, that would be the reason. Luckily, we were able to be on the same row, but we just allowed the airline to pick our seats for us for free. Also, don't forget to get your sanitization going and wipe down those seats before you sit down. Hey guys, I'm sitting in my seat. We are sitting in separate seats. Uh, Richard is somewhere over there. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and fly for free for our free trip and see how this goes. Remember, if you haven't seen our Frontier Airlines first video, check that out. Then it'll explain why this trip was a completely free trip. Uh, so yeah, basically we got the trip for free. Now mind y'all, I was just sitting in my seat minding my business and I was like, I know that is not duct tape covering up Mary had a little lamb. That's suspicious. That's weird. Want to outside the aircraft, put on sharply on the red tab on the front or blow into the red tube near your shoulder to inflate the vest. Child, anyway, it was time for us to take off. So we went ahead and let the plane do what it do, said our prayers and was just hopeful. But you best believe I was watching that duct tape because the first sight of any straggly pieces of duct tape flying in the air, you could best believe I was about to go right up to the front and be like, hey, Mr. Pilot, we got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Let's land this plane right now. <laughs> And of course, while all the drama is going on, Rich is just gone to the world, just in his own little world, just sleep peacefully like a baby. So I had to take it up on myself to be the superhero and save everybody's life on this plane. I need an award. But I mean, we did make it. So I mean, everybody was in one piece. We, you know, avoided any type of injuries. That landing was a little rough though. I know you saw it, it was real rocky. It was real rocky. Okay, we just landed. We actually landed about 15 minutes early. So, slightly impressed, slightly impressed. But um, we still have to see how it goes on our returning flight back home. Hey guys, it's the next day. We are at our gate and right now, as of right now, it says that our flight is on time. So we will see how our returning flight back home goes. Fingers crossed. <laughs> now, even though our flight said it was on time, we did get the boarding call announcement about 10 minutes late. So we were a little hesitant about that. We were like, oh no, are we going to have some more flight delays? What's going on? Should we be worried? Uh, but, you know, we got on the plane, everything seemed to be fine until it wasn't. You know, that changes. Thanks for your patience. So we are possibly going to arrive late now. Don't know. The pilot just made an announcement, so I will say at least he gave us some type of communication, something about 
airport at Orlando. The, I guess there was a flight that was delayed there or something. I don't know. Richard and I were sitting in different rows on this flight, but something told me to get my camera out because I know my person. And when you with somebody for so long, you just know they have it. As soon as they made the announcements, look. <laughs> was like thinking the same thing he was like what is they talking about are we in another delay so we sat there at the gate in our seats for a solid 20 minutes and we were prepared for the worst we were like oh my gosh this is our first frontier airlines flight all over again we just knew we were going to be there for hours at a time just been sitting on the plane i don't know if we're going to be sitting on the plane much longer but this is starting to become a trend that we're noticing with frontier frontier we're gonna we're gonna we're trying to give y'all some grace period here but we ain't have these type of issues with no other airlines like the area right now and the ramp has reclosed we got everything boarded up we got our fuel and ready to go we're just waiting for the ramp to open so that they can push us back and uh, it should be just another uh, 10 minutes or so and uh, we'll be able to be on our way. So it's a short flight time today so we should still be able to get in pretty close to on time. Uh, so anyway, thanks for your patience and I'll let you know if any of that changes. Now, even though this message was a little suspect to me because of our past experience, I will commend Frontier Airlines for at least communicating with us what's going on this time around. To keep ourselves occupied, Rich and I shared little memes and funny videos and pictures of each other and our thoughts. So here's some of those that we shared with each other while sitting on the plane. Well, after several more minutes, we finally made it back into the air and look, no duct tape this time around on the wing because you know i was on heavy alert about having that duct tape on the wing that was stressing me out and we landed successfully thank the lord this time around the land was actually pretty good no humps and bumps and no humpty dumps while getting off the plane one of the flight attendants recognized me from the flight from the previous day i thought it was so funny yeah. Sure? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And there he is waiting on me. <laughs> well, guys, we just got off the plane. We actually got in a little earlier. So, what's your final take on Frontier, babe? It's not bad, you know. Take your chances, you take your chances. But um, more likely than not, you will have an okay flight unless there's you know, really bad weather or you're flying in really, really late. Um, the staffing issues have pretty much, you know, been fixed as of right now. It seems like they have people in place most of the time. So I say go for it. Yeah. But be prepared to have some delays. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> so I guess they, I guess they won us over. Would you fly on them again? I'll do it again. All right. It's well, that's cheap, you know, yeah. so hey. <laughs> That's our review of Frontier Airlines, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time. Peace. Peace.